Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to match fonts with Adobe Creative Cloud. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to recreate the titles from the latest James Bond movie and I want to do it with a font that's as close as possible to the original. Now I'm doing this in Premiere but you can do the same thing with Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator or InDesign. And what a lot of people don't realize is that with their Creative Cloud subscription, they actually have access to thousands of fonts on the Adobe Fonts website. And that's whether you have a subscription to all of the apps or just a single app. And in Premiere, I can just quickly get to that website by choosing graphics, add fonts from Adobe Fonts. And here I can do a search on the name of a font or the style of the font, but really the easiest thing I can do is just go and get that original image of the poster. And I'm just going to drag this onto the website. And it immediately starts scanning the image and looking for a match for the fonts. And it's doing this using Adobe Sensei, which is Adobe's artificial intelligence tool. And now it's identified something that it thinks is a font. And I gotta say, this is very challenging for artificial intelligence because this font has these breaks in the letters and that makes it very difficult to identify this as text. Now what we need to do here is select a single line of text and I would recommend that you choose a line that has the most letters on it. Much better to choose a line that has letters than numbers or special characters. And something that I found has really made a difference here is when you crop in on that line, you actually want it to be as tight as possible. So get as close to the letters as you possibly can. And this is going to help it narrow down the options a lot more. I might even just tighten up this side a little bit more and then I'll click next step. And now it's made a suggestion of the letters that it thinks this word is. These are wrong, so I'll just type in the correct letters and I'll click next step again. And here are all the suggestions it's made for this font here. I'm just gonna turn the text size up so I can compare them a little closer. And I've got to say that this first option here is really, really close. It's a little bit narrower than the font in the original, but otherwise I think this first font here is a great match. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and activate this font. And as soon as I've done that, it's going to activate that font in all of my apps. So I don't need to close down Premiere and open it up again. It will immediately be available to me over there. So then let's jump back over to Premiere. I'll select my graphic in the timeline. And to just select all of this text, I'm just going to double click the layer here. I'll go down to my list of fonts and I'm gonna type in Juiced, which is the name of this font and select it. So like I said, this font is pretty close, but it is a little narrow. So what I'm gonna to do to just stretch this out a bit is go up to the scale and I'm gonna turn off the scale lock so I can stretch out the width for my font. And now that looks a lot closer to the original. Now it's not the exact same font, but it is very close. In fact, if I turned off the original, I would say that it stands pretty well on its own. And that's it. That's how we match fonts with Adobe Creative Cloud. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.